and welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood. And y'all are going to think this is Education Day, and it really basically may be because I have two of my dear friends, and I serve on the Junior Achievement Board with them, and I think we've probably been on that board for a long, long time. <laughs> and um, I think the only person that's been on longer is Tim Henderson. But uh, we want to talk about the JA Company program today. So I asked Margaret Schink and Rick Platts to come on and talk to us because they taught this class at Goal Academy. This last year. Last year. And the year before yeah. at Boys and Girls Club. Right. And so I kind of want them to tell you a little bit about what the JA Company program is because it's a really fascinating program. And I thought with them coming in right behind Arlette, who's talking about how we take kids kindergarten, and I love this, K through J, kindergarten through job. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's what the JA Company program is trying to do is to train these students or teach these students what it is to run a company. So congratulations, folks, you did it. <laughs> we did it, yeah. yeah and, we did. And, and you made a profit. Yes, we did. That yes, is we did. wonderful. So Rick, start us off and tell us a little bit about what Junior Achievement is so and just make people aware because they need to know. Sure, thank you, Nancy. Junior Achievement has been around in the Ocoee region and we cover five counties, Bradley, McMinn, Monroe, Meigs, and Polk. We've been around for over 50 years and let me jump in. Uh, I just thought of this. Junior Achievement, uh, Junior Achievement was brought to this area by Cleveland Associated Industries, right. which is a group of businesses, and they've been around in this area for over 50 years, too. And because they saw the value of a workforce that understood what business required, as well as the opportunity for young people to learn about entrepreneurship and starting their own business, as well as personal finance. So the JA program today in the Ocoee region uh, stretches from kindergarten to seniors in high schools. Each of the grades have their own program tailored to their capabilities and what the research folks at JA USA have figured out to be the best way to introduce the concepts, again, of personal responsibility, entrepreneurship, personal finance, uh, and preparing themselves for careers and to be in the workforce. And so today, we do classes, uh, again, ranging from kindergarten to seniors in high school in all five counties. We reach over 4,000 students a year. We have 200 volunteers because the programs when we go into the classrooms are done by volunteers. Many people who are retired or people who just understand the value of a, of a, a work ready workforce in our community. We have a staff of one full time person who is our CEO and two part time people. And we're located, the office is located on the campus at Cleveland State Community College. And thank you, Cleveland State, for doing absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes, there's an absolutely fabulous landlord as such. And, and before I forget, anyone at any point in, the, in our, as a result of our discussion today, that would want to be a volunteer, let me give you the phone number of JA. It is area code 423 614 8775. That's 614 8775. So if you hear something today that you'd like to know more about, or maybe if you want to volunteer in one of our programs at a grade level that interests you the most, uh, I'd encourage you to give us a call so that we can have a conversation with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And, and let me tell the folks out there, we're not supported by the school system. We're not supported by tax money, city, county, state, anything. We are a 501c3. We're strictly supported from donations. And so that's why it's very important that you all know about JA. Uh, yes, we raise all of the money to support our programs. We raise, not through some third party group, we raise ourselves through our annual campaign and a series of fundraising events that we do throughout the year. And Rick and Margaret did this the first year at the Boys and Girls Club. And this is the company program. The company program. I'm sorry, the company program. And they had a little competition going. And I believe that Rick had to take Margaret's team out to dinner. That's yes. exactly right. Okay. And yes. congratulations, you know, Margaret. You're boys versus uh -huh. girls. And, and mm -hmm. it was uh, quite spirited. And I yes. hate to say it wasn't even close. <laughs> <laughs> and they we, were really... We sold... We sold S knitted ski caps with the initials of some of the public schools on them, mm -hmm. and the girls sold scarves. 
and they did a much better job than we did. So and, and we and the girls ended up selling all the scarves. They did show a profit, and that profit was generously given to, half of it was given to the Boys and Girls Club, and the other half was given to Junior Achievement. Now this was the probably the first year of the JA Company program, and let me give you a little background on the JA Company program. For those of you who have been around for, for quite a while, you'll remember the Junior Achievement program where kids actually made something. Mm -hmm. A birdhouse or yeah, something. A bird, yes. Yeah, and, and they, were, they were sponsored by a company mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I know that Life Care sponsored the company pro, that program for years, and that you, these kids would come in and they would make a product and they would go out and sell them. Well, Junior Achievement dropped that for a long time, but then JA USA kept hearing that made such an impact on me, you need to bring that program back. So about five years ago, JA USA, who is, who is headquartered in Colorado Springs, they had heard this for so long, they said, we're going to bring that program back, but we're going to have a computer based program and we're actually going to run a business from start to finish and we're going to teach these kids how to do that so that program came out about three years ago Rick and I got involved immediately and it we had some growing pains I'll be mm -hmm. the first one to tell you so JAUSA then went back uh, looked at what worked and looked at what didn't work and defined that program even more. So now we have a 13-week program uh, that leads a volunteer and the kids through starting a business. And it is actually getting together, your team together, uh, deciding what, uh, what product you want to make, buy, make or buy, and uh, then go out and selling it. They encourage, of course, that you have, a, you have a business. So in a business, you have a chief executive officer, you have a chief financial officer, you have salespeople, you have logistics people. I'll never forget when the girls were at the Boys and Girls Club were trying to source their scarf. And so we had two, two differing opinions. We're going to make it and we're going to buy it. So then they have to, uh, they have to price that. How much is it going to cost mm -hmm. to actually buy the fabric? Nancy, you know, oh. you were in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. How much is it going to cost to buy the fabric, make it, how about the design, how long's the timeline, and then would it be better to just buy it wholesale mm -hmm. and resell it? Which is but, what I do in the gift shop. Yeah. Which a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. And so they got on the phone with China, and nobody could understand each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and so we finally did decide that we would buy the scarf, but we did find a USA manufacturer, which was great, and, uh, you know, have it shipped in. One thing that we did at the boys, and, and please stop me because I could talk all day, one thing that we did at Goal Academy when we did that program there this year is that um, we decided that we would sell cookie dough. Yes. Frozen cookie dough. Frozen, frozen cookie, cookie dough. dough. Mm -hmm. So the kids had to name the product, which they chose Frodo. Frozen dough. Frodo. <laughs> Frodo. <laughs> and so... Um, this was going to cost the kids about $700 to order the frozen dough. So these kids decided that we would approach investors. Now there's... Oh, that's different. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So we had two local companies, Thank You TVA Credit Union mm -hmm. and Thank You Cleveland Utilities. They sent representatives there and our... Chief Executive Officer, our CFO, 
our sales manager and our, logis and our logistics manager made their presentation. Yeah, and let me let me jump in yeah, here if I can do. because I think this was a wonderful experience, not just for those four individuals, because they had to stand up in front of these business people, explain what their what the product was, what to Margaret's point, what the cost was, what the price was gonna be. They even understood the break-even point, the point at which beyond that next sale, they were now making a profit. They negotiated what they were going to pay back from the initial investment. And while all that was going on, the rest of the students were sitting in the same room and really beginning to understand what this was That's all awesome. about. That is so awesome. it was not, a, not only a wonderful experience for the four individuals who got up to speak, but I think it really brought home the whole idea of what is a business all about. Where does the money come from to start a business? What obligation does that business then have to pay back the initial investors? Mm -hmm. And what do you have to understand about your product and service? Who's your target market? How are you going to reach them? All of those kinds of things were wrapped up, really, and presented in that one opportunity with the investors. And of course, we got, they got the money. Good, okay. Which was good. Again, thank you to the, to the investors. Yeah. And, but but the, uh, they, they had to draw up a loan agreement. And in that loan agreement, um, it, it said that, and each, and each company agreed to give them $350, that Frodo would repay that $350 in addition to 25% of their profits. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the return on investment was absolutely fabulous for, <laughs> for Cleveland Utility. Right. If the company did what they said right. they were going to do. Right, if they made money. Okay. Yeah. It also said in the loan agreement that if they were unable to repay their loan, that Cleveland Utilities and TVA Credit Union would could get the inventory back. They had the op they could take that inventory back. Okay. Just like in real life. Absolutely. And that's <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely well, let, and wonderful. And let me add one other thing about the experience that we, we had at Goal Academy was that we originally, or the, the, the young people decided that they were going to market their product primarily through social media. Well, that didn't work very well. <laughs> and one of, the, one of the things, yeah, one of the things that, that the material from JAUSA stresses about when you own a business, you have to be flexible. You have to see what's happening and you have to be able to adjust to the conditions. And so midway through that process, they realized that we're not making the sales that we thought we would. And they shifted to now decide to do direct sales. Mm -hmm. And so we went out and negotiated with Walmart and Food City. And thank you very much. To Walmart and Food City. And they allowed the young people to set up tables outside of their stores at the entrance and exits to sell the product one-on-one, -on -one, face to face with consumers as they came and went from Food City and Walmart. And that's where we really did well and where th those that participated in that really learned a lot about selling, talking to, th to the community, self-confidence, and those kinds of important soft skills. Did the students talk to Food City and Walmart or did you all go do that? We helped negotiate okay. that. We all helped right. negotiate okay. that. But beyond that, once they set up their table, they were on their own to approach customers as they came and, and left. Uh, the other thing we learned, which I thought was very interesting, was, and this was an idea from one of the students, well, maybe somebody doesn't want to buy the product. But they had decided that their profits, beyond what they paid back to their investors, was going to go to St. Jude's Children's Research I Hospital. Made. Okay. And so one of the students said, why don't we set up a jar at the table oh, so that if someone doesn't want to buy the frozen cookie dough, maybe they want to make a contribution to St. Jude's. And quite honestly, we made a fair amount of money from people just putting you know, a single Very dollar, good. five dollars in, in that jar. That is super. Now, I bought two of these Frodo's. Thank you, Nancy. You're so welcome. And, uh, and I took them immediately home, and my son came up that night, and I gave them to him. Because I knew if I baked 
all of these Frodo cookies that I would eat, every one of the Frodo cookies. <laughs> and that was not what I needed to do. But this was such a neat idea for them to go with Frodo. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, and I'll give you the numbers. Um, we sent back a check to uh, Cleveland Utilities and TVA Credit Union in the amount of $369.66. So okay. they paid back their original investment plus interest. And then a check was sent to St. Jude's for $291. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 So now, uh, we were you, really proud of these kids. We're writing checks. So does this mean we opened a bank account? A bank account. This is a business. Wow. This is not with play money. Uh, a bank account was opened. Uh, the CFO was on that bank account. He had to sign the checks. And so we had to teach the kids <laughs> how to maintain a checkbook, how to, how to write checks. Uh, and, I mean, Rick and I couldn't sign the check. No. It was only, no, it was only oh, yeah. Okay. No, at, 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 at a very clear point in this process, we step out, and they run the operation. They run the meetings. The CEO is expecting a report from the logistics person, from the marketing person, from the finance person, and the committees that, that supported them. I, I want to say one thing a little bit about, if I can, about the history of this and, and the company program. Uh, two points I want to make. I'm not sure why JA stopped the company program. I think the reason was that when you have a company program, you, you have a very intense uh, experience for a relatively small number of young people. Mm -hmm. And I think JA m decided that they wanted to reach more students. And so they moved away from the company program and developed these programs to go into the classrooms with volunteers. And that's the figure of 4,000 students that we reach every year. But on the other hand, something was missing. And we now have this in our toolkit. And we've, uh, Margaret and I have done two programs. Two other volunteers have done another two programs. So we've got four under our belt. We've got two now planned for the spring and another one if we can get volunteers. So there's a demand for this and I think it's a wonderful program. And the last point around this I want to make is I know of two business owners in Cleveland, Tennessee that will tell you unequivocally that the impetus for them to want to be an entrepreneur and to want to start their own businesses was the company program that they experienced while they were in high school at Junior Achievement. So this is a wonderful program in addition to the other programs that we have because we also have another program called <laughs> what? I, I give up what? <laughs> I'm having, I'm having a moment okay. here where well, I can't while remember. Well, you think a minute, and I'll say, folks, you know, we cover five counties, and this show is on uh, Charter Channel 5, Comcast, that's Megs, McMinn, uh, Polk, and that's uh, Channel 210, uh, part of northern part of Hamilton County. Now, we don't do JA in Hamilton County. And then we're also Rabbit Ears on 27. So we're getting out into some, some systems, some, some of our counties in this region, that you all may want us to come into your high schools and do this program, but we have to have volunteers to do it. And so if, if your schools are interested, please call the number Rick gave you at the first of the show and and do, uh, and do let, let's see what we can set up for the company program in McMinn County, Meigs County, Polk County, uh, Monroe County. The name of the program is Reality Check. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. And I apologize <laughs> wonderful. for my That's my, right. Let me look at moment. Bryce and see. Do we have time to talk about Reality Check? Bryce, he's going to tell me yes or no. We have two minutes. Okay. Well, so also, let me repeat the number for yes. Junior Achievement. Yes. It's 614-8775. Reality Check is another wonderful program it is. that Junior Achievement has where we set up typically in a gymnasium, in a school, the middle schools. The students are given a sheet of paper that describes who they are as adults, whether they're married, whether they're single, what their occupation is, how much income that they have, whether they have children. They walk into the gymnasium and they are set free to go to any combination. <laughs> set free, I love it. Yeah, set free to go to these stations that we have set up. Each station is something that they need to possibly buy. For example, do you want to buy a house or do you want to rent an apartment? Do you want to buy 
high performance car or do you want to buy a used car? Do you want to, what kind of food? Do you want a second job? And as do they you make- Do you need child care? Do you need child care? Yes. Mm -hmm. And as they make each of these individual decisions, they subtract the amount of that expense to them from their after-tax income depending upon the occupation that they've been given. And to hear the conversation among the students <laughs> is absolutely priceless. And that is the reality of it, folks. Yes. Margaret and Rick, thank you all so much for being on Our with us today. To be. This has been so interesting and these folks handled it beautifully. This is the second time they've done the 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 company uh, businesses and and so I'm sure they're gonna do another one. We will. Uh, yeah. That's I mean, great. I think, I think well, let me Rick repeat is, that number one, one more time. time. One more time, because my producer's six, over there with six, his eyes crossed. One, six one four eight seven seven five. Okay. Thank you. Call in, folks, and help out. This has been a great program today. I hope y'all have enjoyed it as much as I have, and I'll see you on the next episode of Nancy's Neighborhood. Bye bye.